Hello and welcome to this video by FilmsByChris.com. I'm Chris and today we're going to be looking at uh, a few things, but we're also going to be looking at FZF. Uh, it's a fuzzy finder application. It is an amazing program. Once you have it installed, you're not going to want to live without it. Uh, and it's very easy to install. I'm uh, running De uh, Debian SID at the current time. That's in the repositories. I'm not sure if it's in the repositories for Debian Stable yet. Uh, at least last I checked it wasn't, but it was a little while ago since I checked. So you might be able to do apt install uh, to install it, apt install FCS, uh, sorry, FZF. And uh, if not, it's super easy to install. Other ways, you can come down here at installation. It has a few options. You can say using git. And here you just, once you have git installed, you, say you clone it. And then you run the install command. And there's also plugins for Vim, which are also very useful. But what does it do? It's, it's, it's a fuzzy finder. So basically, when you type something, uh, you want to search through something, you can start typing. And it's, think of it as like grep. Uh, although with very large files, grep might be a little faster, but not as smart. Uh, because grep will look for exactly what you're typing in there, uh, but this will search through it while you're typing and kind of tries to be smart about it. So, for example, I have a file here uh, called people.csv. I'll try to remember to put a link to this in the description. It's a uh, test file that I created um, based on real people and real addresses, although I shuffled everything up so they don't really match. Uh, so I don't have people's information just in there, but it's a good large file. Uh, you can see here if I actually uh, WC-L, uh, WC counts the uh, lines, words, and characters in the file, but if you do dash L, it will just give you the lines. So let me do that and give it that file, people.csv. It is going to say there's uh, 862 entries in here. So not a enormous file, but a large enough file. And of course, if I want to, I can say grep, find everyone with the name John, which will again include John Johnson. And let's put quotations around this just because I like to. And we'll say people.csv. And it will show you all the lines with the word John in. So we got Johnson here, John here, John here, John here, Johnson up here, all in order. Uh, and how many people did we get? We got word count dash L. So 24 entries with the word John in it. So that was nice, so we can then narrow it down after that. Let's say I wanted to find, okay, uh, the ones that live in H Hawthorne. So I can now go ahead and say grep this, but then I can also pipe that. And actually, you could probably do this all in one grep, but I'm going to pipe the output of that into another grep command and just say find Hawthorne, which is great. It's doing it super fast. Uh, but it's looking for those specific things. We narrowed it down to four. We got two Johns and two Johnsons that live in Hawthorne. And, um, but, you know, we had to type out the commands and then see what comes up. If I, once you have FZF installed, I'm going to do FZF. Uh, actually, we're going to do cat, the name of that file. So people.csv, which is a plain text file. CSV is just means that we're have columns, uh, think of it like a spreadsheet, uh, but the spreadsheet cells are divided by the commas in the file. So you'll see that each column has its own. You can open it up with a spreadsheet program. Uh, so for example, before we get to FCF, let me just say uh, Libre, oops, Libre Office, and I should be able to give it the that file. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up that file and it's going to say, hey, how do you want this? This is set to tabs because that's the last file up. But I'm going to say I want uh, commas right there, comma. And now you can see it found all the commas. And if I click OK, I now have a spreadsheet with the columns uh, based on those commas. So that is how a uh, uh, CSV file, although you don't have to use commas. Usually when I create a file, I'll use a character like a pipe symbol that's less commonly because an address might have a comma in it, in which case you have to work with quotation marks and whatnot. But anyway, just want to show you a CSV file can be viewed that way and edited that way and then export it again as a CSV file, which is again just a plain text file. But going back to what we were about to do, uh, people.csv, I can pipe that into uh, FZF. And now I type hit that. And now if I type in John, it starts narrowing down the list as a type. And if I make a mistake, I can go back. And again, now I don't even have to hit space. I can just type in uh, HAW. And you can see it's now looked for lines with that might have something like that in there. It doesn't just look for HAW. It's looking for things that have it's found exact matches for John. But up here, it says, oh, it has an H, an A, and a W. But it puts the um, 
best match down here at the bottom. And you can also set it to reverse so the, so it's, uh, the list is the other way where the top is the best match. Uh, but by default, it's like this at the bottom. And um, so yeah, and now I can use arrows to choose which one I want. And when I hit enter, it's just going to output that information. Uh, so what I can do now is, okay, that's all I'm online. Let's just make it a little bit easier to read. So I'll just pipe that into the TR command. So what does TR command do? Let's talk about that real quick. Again, this is just an overview of command. I'm just showing you a bunch of commands. I've done tutorials on all these in the past uh, in more depth, except for FCS. I haven't really done a tutorial on that yet. I've demoed it before, but as you can see, it's pretty simple to use. Um, but if I was to echo something like Chris, comma, Smith, comma, Naples, obviously I get that output. If I pipe that into TR, I can now replace individual characters. So here I can say I want to replace all commas with the pipe character. And there you go, it prints it out with the pipe characters instead of the commas. If I wanted to change all the commas to dashes, I can do that. Uh, I can also do special things like backslash N. Now it says find all the commas and change those commas into new lines. And again, this is not modifying any files or anything, it's just modifying the output so now I have each one of those entries on a new line. And that's exactly what we're going to do with our fuzzy finder here. So I'll go back up to this. Let's clear the screen. So again, if I was to type this command and I was to type in Chris and I'll say Gainesville. We have a Kristen at White Oak Drive in Gainesville. I'll hit enter. That's the output. But if I was to now pipe that into TR and say change all these commas to new lines. Now when I type in we'll say um, Jack and we'll say Jack from High Springs. So I'll just start typing Springs. Look I even narrowed it down to the final one. I'll hit enter and now because we used TR instead of printing all on one line I have each column on a new line which might be a better way to print it. I do have empty lines here which you could also you know delete using said. Um, again I guess I can show you that uh, we should be able to do something like said, um, and we'll say carrot dollar sign. I'm pretty sure this is how you do that. We'll see. And I'll just pick a name from here. Boom. There we go. We got rid of it. So basically, this said command here, said again. I have videos going more in depth. Said allows you to manipulate text in so many different ways. In fact, I could probably get rid of this tr command and use a single said command to replace that if I want instead of doing TR and then said. But in this case, I'm saying said, and I'm saying find all lines. So the caret symbol is a special character saying uh, the first, the beginning of a, of a line, and the dollar sign is the end of a line. So since I'm doing that with nothing in between, it's saying find empty lines, and then the forward slash D means delete it. So basically, if it's a blank line, delete it. And we have these blank lines because um, if I cat out to my people.csv, you can see each one of these lines has a few extra uh, columns here, most of them. Some of them have some information in there, but most of them have like three or so extra commas at the end, which are blank cells. And that's why we're getting those blank lines. But our said command here, after I type something like uh, Terry, and we'll say um, in, whoops, Terry, uh, yeah, we'll just pick one of these. I'm just coming up with random stuff. So again, we're, we're catting out the entire file putting that into Fuzzy Finder, which at what point we're typing for what we're looking for. When we find what we're looking for, we hit enter, and it puts that into TR, replacing all the commas with new line characters, so putting each column, uh, each cell on its own line, just to make it easier to read. Uh, and then we're saying, okay, find every blank line and delete that so we don't have those trailing blank lines. So again, if we remove that said command, and I just pick a name here and hit enter, you can see we have these extra lines down here at the bottom we don't necessarily want. So anyway, that's a quick look at um, what do we go over today? Again, I'm just doing quick overviews, uh, cutting out the entire file we already went over, but using Fuzzy Finder, FZF, uh, and we're using the TR command to replace uh, individual characters. So again, uh, we could do something like, instead of even using commas, I can say replace all capital T's with capital B's. And if I was to now type in Terry again, Oops, Terry again, and choose a name. It should change that to Barry, so and it did. See, so TR is really great about. It's very a very simple command for replacing individual characters with other individual characters. Or if you're replacing words, and said would could also do that, but said is also a lot more in depth. Can replace entire words or 
or other types of combinations. Uh, so yeah, so TR does that. And then said, I just showed you one basic command here, which just deletes blank lines. Said does so much that, you know, I've been using it for years and I only touched the surface of it because it's basically a complete uh, word processor, uh, you know, for manipulating everything without actually opening up a file. It is amazing. So yeah, I'll try to put a link in the description of the video. Uh, actually, let me get that link for you right now. So yeah, there it is. It is uh, filmstarchris.com forward slash scripts forward slash my notes, capital M, capital N, uh, notes, and then uh, people.csv. And that's just a, a file I generated from voters' records, but like scrambling the names and addresses and stuff. So it's realistic data without being real data um, that you can use for testing purposes. And it has close to 1,000, 860 some uh, people in there. Uh, and yeah, get that. I'll try to put a link in the description. But just in case I forget, or you're watching this somewhere where there isn't a description box, that is the link right there to this test file. Uh, yeah, I thank you for watching. And again, I'm going over these things real fast, just giving you an overview of them. Go to filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. And there you can search through. Actually, let's just go there real quick. Uh, and what we can do here, when you load up the page under the videos section, you can just start something, typing something like grep. And it'll bring up grep videos. Uh, you can start typing said, and it should bring up some said videos. Uh, and you can type in, do I have a video on TR? That's going to bring up a lot of stuff because there's probably a lot of stuff with the letters TR in it. Um, but uh, yeah, check out my videos. I literally have um, thousands of videos because I've been doing this for over a decade. And I do thank you for watching. Uh, think about supporting under the support section. You can support me through Patreon or do a uh, donation through um, PayPal. And also, uh, my website and videos are completely searchable. Uh, if you were to use a shell application such as Lynx, Curl, or WGET, just uh, check out the instructions here. Or if you just try to WGET or Curl my uh, website, filmsacris.com, it should bring up instructions and examples uh, for shell, shell searching. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.